Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome aboard. You should definitely hit subscribe and the notification bell before you go any further and realize how fucking garbage this content is. But if this is not your first time on the channel, you may want to reconsider some of your life choices. But in either case, thank you very much for joining me here. I do really appreciate it. Now, if you're watching today's video and you're feeling inspired to pick up some Yu-Gi-Oh! or even some Pokemon singles, you should check out the channel sponsors, Jam Jam Cards UK. There will be a link down in the description to their eBay store, which will net you a cheeky discount courtesy of yours truly on their products. Now for today's video we are doing something a little bit different and for the sake of clarity I received some product from Salted Accessories which I'm going to do an honest and open review for you. Now this isn't something I'd normally do on the channel, I can promise you I get offers left, right and centre to review all kinds of absolutely irrelevant stuff. I get offers for all kinds of gadgets and I fucking love some gadgets and I have to turn them down because I don't feel they're right for you. So I wouldn't be doing this unless I felt like the product is something that you might genuinely be interested in and I might be able to give you an honest and open review of something that might actually benefit you as a player of particularly the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG but if you're viewing from any other perspective hopefully this will give you some ideas of what you're in for when you buy some of their binders or any of their other accessories that may come out in future. And here we have it. So I'm going to pop these binders open in a moment and have a quick look at sort of first glance. I haven't opened this yet. I have no idea what I'm in for but I've heard very good things so hopefully they're going to meet those high standards that I've been led to expect. I will do some proper close-up shots in a moment as well so we can have a look at the quality so you can get an idea of exactly what you'd be getting your hands on if you decide to pick up some of these products. Now before we go on, I'd also like to note I have a variety of other binders that I use so I will have some basis on which to go with on this. I've got Flex Folios which I use. I've got Ultimate Guard Zip Binders. I use a bigger one than this as well. And I've got a Dragon Shield Binder. So I've got a mixture of things that I would normally use to protect my cards. And Binders are one of those things that I like to usually try and get as much um, value poured into as I possibly can. In terms of I want the best quality that I can get uh, within a reasonable price budget. And I've slowly upgraded over time. Um, and I've got some really good ones. I've got a mixture, like I say. And so I'll have a good basis by which to compare this to. I won't be doing direct comparisons, but it'll give you some idea based on what I've experienced myself versus what qualities these binders hold themselves. And hopefully I'm not waffling on too much and hopefully that all made sense, but hopefully you get the idea. Okay, so in the package, I had these two binders here. So this is Peppermint, and this is the limited edition Phoenix one that they do as well, which, <laughs> first impressions actually, the, the quality on these look really, really nice. They feel really strong as well. Uh, but we'll go into those in a bit more detail in a moment. Uh, it was packaged really well, so it's turned up in, in great condition. Um, and so far, they look really nice. I must say, the, the actual colors on them are brilliant, particularly this. Um... I don't know which one I like more, actually. It's kind of crazy. Um, maybe the Phoenix a little bit more, but I am a big fan of the whole Peppermint thing. Uh, I had a Blue Eyes collection, which actually I just pretty much got rid of today, which was in a Peppermint colour binder, but it was just one of them flexy ones. Uh, it would have been nicer to have it in this, that's for sure. So first impression so far, just quickly looking at these, is they look really, really good quality, but I'm going to get into them in a bit more detail in just a second so that we can have a proper look at exactly what you'd be getting your hands on. So hopefully you guys can see this clearly enough. My setup isn't the best in the world for this kind of thing, so hopefully it all looks okay. Um, but yeah, we're going to start off. We've got the peppermint one first. So again, first impressions are the quality looks absolutely insane. So this is it. I'm just putting it sideways for you guys so it's all on the camera so you can see it. Hopefully the, uh, the image is going to do the color justice. It is really really solid it's really nice the branded logo on here is really really cool as well nice high quality uh it, it feels like it, i don't know if it's an actual leather finish or if it's like a faux leather or something like that um but that's what it certainly feels like at least um it's very very rigid which is something that i have a huge concern for when it comes to my cards um i've had a few other uh zip binders that haven't necessarily been as as strong as this feels, which is, is um, this is certainly an improvement, I would definitely say. Um, it feels really nice as well. The quality feels really high. Uh, genuinely, so far, the first impressions are that this is absolutely fantastic. Uh, there's no defects on, like, the stitching or anything, which is, again, a sign of good quality uh, and certainly good quality control. It looks like they've done a great job here. So I'm going to take a look in the binder itself, look inside 
Again, outside impressions look absolutely fantastic so far. I'll be interested to see how good the zipper is as well, because again, I've had a few binders where the zips have been uh, not fantastic. So hopefully this is good. Um, and yeah, we'll have a look inside and see exactly what we're getting ourselves into. Okay, so the zip is fantastic. I know that that's something that seems like a minor, small detail, but honestly, it does make a hell of a difference. Um, okay, yes, so this is incredibly rigid. Um, as, as explained, it does feel genuinely really, really good. I mean, I can just about bend that with my thumb. So unless you're putting like an unnatural, heinous amount of force on it, this is going to be really, really good protection for your cards. As a note as well, the material inside feels really, really nice. It feels almost like a suede uh, feeling. So it, it genuinely feels like it's going to look after your cards. It feels crisp. It feels like you're getting the premium quality that you're paying for here. So already very, very good impression. And again, I've had a variety of binders, so have an idea of what I'm in for uh, and what I'm expecting really with these cards. Um, the actual, uh, the pages themselves feel like the good quality. I've had some of these where the plastic gets really, really flimsy and breaks very easily. This actually feels a little bit thicker in terms of the plastic, the clear plastic that goes over the top, which means it's probably a bit less likely to actually, uh, to like snap and break, I would say. Um, the, the pages otherwise feel more or less like the standard kind of thing you would get. Um, it looks like they're stitched in very well in the spine here. So again, it feels like they're not going to come out, which is, you know, obviously a very, very desirable thing. I think these can fit something like 360 cards in. Obviously, they're nine, uh, nine spots on the back and front. Um, yeah, it's okay. So this, I mean, genuinely so far, I'm very, very impressed. Uh, pardon my gammy hands there. Um, nice logo on the back here as well. So, so far the Peppermint's really, really good. So far I'm very impressed with the quality. I'm very interested to look at the Phoenix one that I've got in a moment as well, so I can get an idea of exactly what that looks like outside the packet. The, the colours look fantastic on it, um, so I'm very, very interested to take a look. But so far the impressions are really, really good. Definitely something I'd recommend as it stands. So hopefully the second one matches up and then we'll see that there's definitely some consistency with the product. Very, very desirable. Okay, so on to our second binder here. This is the Phoenix one. It's got a nice, like, reddy, orangey, yellowy tinge to it. Uh, I don't really know how to explain it. Hopefully, again, it looks okay on the camera. Uh, the lighting isn't the best in the world in this room, but hopefully it does show up nicely as it should. Of course, we've got that nice salted uh, logo in there. Very well done. Uh, again, consistency seems great. Uh, there don't seem to be any defects in the stitching uh, against any of the quality on the edges. It all looks to have been well protected. Again, that nice rigid front that we hope for. Um, again, super consistent, which is great because it is worth knowing that these guys are uh, they are just sort of starting out. I believe they're based in Cardiff. Uh, so if you're in the UK, it's always great, of course, to be able to support local businesses. Um, and honestly, the, the quality on these is so far, it's, it's looking as good, if not better, in fact, than pretty much anything else I've used so far. Genuinely, uh, my first impressions are that I would probably use these over any other brand. And that's not me doing anyone a favor by just saying that. I have no interest in doing that. Genuinely, I think that these are up there with, with some of my favorite binders I've touched um, so far. And again, colors look fantastic, all of that. Obviously, time will tell about the quality, but genuinely, I'm going to be swapping over any of my collection stuff into these right after this video. That's that's the honest truth. Um, but let's, let's get stuck in anyway. Make sure the rest of it's up to scratch like we hope. So again, that zipper feels absolutely fantastic. No snags, no pulling, none of that nonsense. And again, exactly what we expect inside. Just having a look again, just to make sure again that all that consistency is there because I don't want to I don't want to mislead you guys and you know say it's great if we if we can't see that it's great, but we actually can. Uh, again, fantastic, fantastic quality, nice and rigid. It's going to take some force to get through that. I think these might even be like somewhat spill proof as well uh, due to the material. So again, that's something to consider. Worst thing in the world if you go to like a regional and stack your drink over your binder, it does happen to the best of us. And so yeah, I mean you can believe that. What I am going to do in a moment as well, I'm going to grab a few cards so you can see exactly what they look like in these sleeves. I've got a variety. I've got Pokemon. Uh, I've got Yu-Gi-Oh. I think I might have a Dragon Ball one kicking about as well. So we're going to shove these in here as well so you can see what the spacing is like. Uh, and we can actually see what it feels like to put cards inside. And we can get a genuine idea of exactly what we're looking at. Okay, so I've got a variety of cards that we're going to pop into here and try out. Again, different sizes, different shapes, different qualities. Uh, so I believe this is Dragon Ball, so uh, we'll go with that first. Uh, it goes in nice and smooth. One of the issues I normally find with the the binders that I've been using so far is that when you push these in, they snag. Uh, that doesn't seem to have been the case so far, so that's always good. Uh, we've got a Pokemon card here. 
uh, the old school ancient Mew. Uh, that goes in. It's very, very smooth. Nice and easy to take out and put in. But it's not loose. It's not loose, which is obviously something that people are concerned about. And obviously the advantage of having these side loaded for anyone that does anything with cards knows that if you have the top loaded ones, they just slide out like that when you flip the binder over. These don't look like they're going to go anywhere. Uh, we've got a Yu-Gi-Oh card here. This is obviously my game of choice. Again, goes in nice and smooth. Doesn't feel like it's going to just fall out, which is great. Uh, we've got whatever this thing is that shouldn't exist. Um, you don't want to read the flavor text on this card. Um, and again, that fits in absolutely perfectly. Uh, hopefully the glare isn't too much there. Let me just uh, adjust that a little bit for you guys. So again, they fit in really nicely. Uh, no issues with that. It doesn't feel like anything's going to slide out, which is great. Again, you can see there, it's not going anywhere. So your cards are well protected. Um, and one of the other issues, of course, that people get is, you know, bending with their binders. You're not going to get that with this because this... This rigid top is going to stop that. There's actually plenty of room uh, where the zip can move around as well. I mean, I don't know if you guys can see. But there's a bit of room there as well. So you will be able to fill this binder without bending all your cards, which obviously is a huge concern for those of us who are putting expensive collections and things in here. So something to keep in mind. Okay, so what are my thoughts on the sorted accessories binders that I've received today? That's the Peppermint and the Limited Edition Phoenix. Well, if I'm honest with you, they are possibly some of the best binders that I've had my hands on. Now, I'm not just saying that to make anyone feel good or make anyone feel fantastic or anything. I wouldn't recommend something to you with my own neck on the line unless I thought it was really that good. In terms of price, now very, very close to the other competitors on the market. But actually, I think you're getting a lot more bang for your buck out of that. The binders are rigid. They seem consistent. All of the stitch and everything looks great. The zips on them are fantastic. It doesn't look like it's going to bend your cards. They look like they're going to be resistant to the elements, shall we say. I mean, let's be honest. We've all been outside a regional in the pissing rain before. Honestly, I would probably feel quite safe with my cards in that in that scenario. Now, I wouldn't tempt fate or anything. I wouldn't go for a fucking swim with them in my bag. But you get the point. Now, I would say genuinely, hand on heart, if I'm going to look at binders going forward, these are actually the binders that I'm going to be looking to pick up. And if you're in the market for a binder, I very much recommend giving these a look. If you are interested in taking a look at the sorted range of what is out there, currently they have a store through Amazon, which I'll put a link in the description. I'll also put a link to their Facebook page so you can keep up to date or contact them if you need to. Maybe you want them shipped somewhere else. I don't know if that's something they can do. I know currently they ship within the UK. Uh, I don't know how far outside of the UK they'd be willing to ship, but of course you can contact them and see if that's something that can be done. So again, my honest, genuine opinion, these are some of the best binders that I've had in my hands. I've held some really nice binders over time as well. And genuinely, I would consider putting all of my collection into those. In fact, that is exactly what I'm going to do when this video is done. But anyway, that's enough waffling on from me. Thank you very much for coming along to the video and making it this far. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, you should definitely consider hitting subscribe and the notification bell. Or hopefully you've at least hated it enough that you couldn't possibly look away. Again, links will be in the description to the channel sponsors if you want some singles and decided accessories if you want to go check out their range and see what's available for you. Once again, thank you very much for coming along and I'll see you in the next one. This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description.